You're right guys, this week I've got the lathe out and I'm going to be making, hopefully, a dog chew holder. I hope you like it. Whenever I give Oscar a chew, he'll always try and hold it himself for a little while, but he soon gets frustrated and brings it over to me to hold it for him. It's always slimy and horrible, and when he starts to pull it, it rips your hands to shreds. So that's why I'm making the dog chew holder. For the handle, I'm going to be using some walnut stock that I've got. I've got like a scrap bin of walnut down here from making the rocking chair project ages ago. And that was in fact the last time that I used my lathe. Well, tell a lie, I did put some scrap wood on it yesterday to try and get a feeling for it again and make sure that the motor actually still works. Don't follow what I do by any means. This is literally just me having a mess about. I'm going to be turning it round, giving it some kind of handle shape that'll be nice to use. And then you'll see I've got a metal chuck off Amazon that I'm going to epoxy into the end of it. So, wish me luck. To get the piece turned roughly round, I'm going to be using my Robert Sorby tools. Now, they've got a square bit on the end that hopefully the camera will focus on eventually. And this is in fact high speed steel. It's not tungsten carbide like you'll see most of the other tools. I believe you can get the tungsten carbide tips for these, but mine came with a high speed steel, so let's give it a go. Now that I've got it roughly round, I can start marking it up to give some kind of guidelines for how I want the handle to be. I'm going to be changing over to the round cutter for this one. So as you can see here I've been trying to create a little like notch that will seat for my hand to like have a bit of a grip. Then this will be where the actual chuck will get attached for the dog chew part and then obviously I'm going to thin this out but all it was doing was where I'd got those pencil marks just plunged in with the round cutter and then eased it either side I did do some practice ones yesterday on the scrap and I realised that a sharper taper felt a lot more comfortable than a more gradual taper so this has actually got something to hold on to for your fingers to lock into and obviously when the dog's pulling on it it's not going to rip it out your hand so now I'm going to like feather this down a bit I think round over the back bit maybe put a bit of a dip in the middle for the palm of my hand to sit into let's just have a mess about with the shape now that i'm happy with the actual shape and the feel of it i'm going to be able to cut it off at either end and then remount it in the chuck to finish off the bottom and get it all sanded up I'm going to save you the boredom of changing these chuck drawers because it takes forever. I'm going to be putting these smaller ones on, I'm just going to get that done. Now with the smaller chuck drawers on, I can get this clamped up inside. Now I've got it sanded up to 240, I'm going to be using Yorkshire Grit. It basically cuts down on dust and it should get it up to a really nice smooth finish. And I believe that this can actually be left on as a finish as well and it's food safe. So ideal for a dog chew holder handle I think. Now I haven't got the ability on my lathe to be able to add a drill bit to the end to get a straight line through the handle and I also haven't got a drill press but I've got a hand drill and hopefully I've got a bit of luck, let's see.
As you can see, it's nice and easy now to add the chew into the chuck and to get a good hold of it. Oscar's able to pull away at it and I'm not getting all slimy and it's not cutting my hands to shreds either. That's it then guys, a really nice simple project. I hope you give it a go for yourself. It's the first time using the lathe in a long time so I did enjoy this one. Thank you all for watching again and I'll see you on the next video.